Army, Badger Army. Welcome hey, to the show. Yes, we're back on the bench. And I hope you guys are okay. Nick is with me as my co-host, guest host, as usual, for the Benchamon. Welcome, everyone. And I hope you're having a great week, day, weekend, or whatever you're experiencing. Welcome to On The Bench. How you doing, Nick? I am good, thank you. Yes. Today, we're going to talk about the fact that Easter apparently starts in January and many other things. I know. I've just been looking this up. The official start date for the official day of Easter this year is Easter Day is the 17th of April. So that's not exactly round the corner that so quick, is it? So if you're buying Easter eggs for your kids, where on earth are you going to hide them for the next three months? Indeed! I mean, I'm all up for everyone pre-planning and getting all this stuff sorted out and, you know, paying for things early. I, myself, a part of Park, where you put a little bit of money away each month and then that, you know, goes towards Christmas. But buying Easter eggs in January... It's even worse that it's like the... It's like they, they go out on, like, like, the day after Boxing Day. It's almost like they've got them... I know! But where are they storing them? And they're obviously not getting them on that day. So that means that they've already got them in a warehouse somewhere. So the weird thing is, in Tesco's, there's a mixture of Halloween stuff probably nestled about, Christmas stuff nestled about, and Easter stuff, and probably Valentine's. It doesn't make any sense to me. What you should yeah. do, perchance, if you wanted to have a seasonal aisle that made sense, have a Valentine section. Yeah, see, I'd get that. I mean, ultimately, if you were buying like a box of chocolates and you'd have to hide that for like a month and a half, then okay, I can kind of say. And obviously, you can't put flowers out. No, early, of course, because yeah. obviously they they, well, won't they last that. Long. I mean, they're out every week on Tesco's yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I, I don't get it. I don't Surely, get, I mean, things like the smaller ones, like cream eggs, I can understand. Yes. You know, because they're because people will people will have them. Um, most times anyway. Um, exactly, yeah. But, but yeah. Hulking I, great big 50 pound Easter eggs, it doesn't make any sense exactly. at all. Exactly. So, so yeah, we can officially confirm that, a, that, uh, that April 17th is Easter Day this year. So if you are buying Easter eggs right now for then, good luck keeping it hiding um, for the next three months. Particularly if you can keep it, particularly if you can hide it somewhere where it's not going to melt, go off. Or do something else, or grow, or grow into a uh, monster that takes over your house and then tries to eat you. Or go out of date, maybe exactly. because it's been in the cupboard for so long. So this yeah, is the thing. Shortens, like, that shortens your lifespan, doesn't it? It does because this is the thing. Or it gets all that weird thing where all the sugar goes to the top and goes all white, which is a bit gross. But yeah, it's the same thing with mince pies. Why would you buy mince pies three months before Christmas starts? Because they go out of date before you even get a chance to eat them on the appropriate day. Exactly. Yeah, and they and they go out of date before Easter eggs do. They do? Yeah. Because it's pastry. Yeah. With a little bit of alcohol in. Yeah, so that, so that definitely would. So yeah, and the other thing is because it's because it's a later Easter day this this later. year, April 17th, that means we're actually gonna have a, um, we're, it also means that Shrove Tuesday is late. Ooh. Shrove Tuesday is the first of March. Ooh, okay, that That's, is late. That is you. later than later than usual. Normally, it like clashes with Valentine's Day. That's right. So, that's right. Yeah. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Usually, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, you have that mad week normally where you have Pancake Day, Valentine's Day, the Chinese New Year's usually around then as well. That's right. You know, so there's so you're jam packed. So this is the thing, why can't you, if you're going to do a seasonal aisle for the start of the year, have pancake stuff, Valentine stuff, Easter stuff, Chinese New Year stuff, and all the other stuff. Next, you'll be putting LGBTQ flags in front of Santa's Grotto, because it'll be celebrating Pride, Christmas, Bar Mitzvahs, Pride Halloween. Month of Pride Month, of course, is in June. So no time. So the kind of like the polar opposite to when Christmas is. That's the joke, Nick. I know, but we had to make that clear. But we had to make that clear. But LGBTQ flags can be enjoyed at any time of year. Yes, and not just made out of cheap cups. Exactly. Mm. Indeed, yes. So there we go. Moving on. I think. What do you want to talk about next, Nick? Well, 
I'm going to be. I'm doing my first bit of filming work tomorrow at the Ooh. time of filming. Large for an advert. Can't say anything about the advert just yet, but you know, I have a pretty decent track record for featuring in adverts. Of course, yeah. I was in the Domino's advert. Domino. <laughs> yes, we had to kind of stand there while everyone else around us was yodeling. Great yeah, fun. Fam. Did you not yodel? Um, not that made it. Not that made the final cut. They did Boom. one. They did. They made us do one take where we all had to yodel the triarotti line. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But uh, they they just kept back to the four guys who were who were who were scheduled and had trained a few days beforehand in singing it. So maybe I need to put a thing out on on Twitter. You know, release the Nick Yodel cut. <laughs> I don't know if you'd hear me in it, and uh, I probably sounded completely off key. So. I, That's all I the doubt, better then, really. I doubt it? you were missing much. I don't so, know about that. Sounds so like yeah. it was fun. So I was in that, and uh, oh yeah, I was in a Tesco advert as well. Tesco? Yeah. Then we'll go to Tesco's. Yeah. When no one buys their best clothes. No one buys their best clothes. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Indeed, yes. So we went, so uh, I was in the, so it actually was, um, it was the Tesco advert where they stimulated part of the room. It was like oh, yeah. the entrance to a building to look like an airport. And along comes Santa and his reindeer. Oh, yeah. Um, real reindeer. So, you know, there was reindeer poo everywhere. Nice. Um, so they had to clear, every, they had to stop every so often. Don't to forget, the guys, poo. 10 minutes of reindeer ASMR. Reindeer poo ASMR, live on the channel. It's a thing. Do you want, do you want your channel to survive this year? Yeah. Um, <laughs> By highlighting all the rubbish ones, yeah. Um, Go and watch yeah. all my rubbish videos. So so we, so flushing ASMR. Right, so we did the, so yeah, so we had the reindeer, and we also had the one where Santa is going through customs. I thought he was just flashing his passport. Turns out he, turns out it was one of, it was one of those, uh, it was one of these, yes, I've had my vaccine. Uh, and it caused a bit of an uproar. Oops. Um, so yeah, but I was in the background of that. And uh, clearly visible as well. So such a proud moment. Such um, a proud moment. Such a proud time. Nick, the world's worst video um, Christmas ad goes to McDonald's. I just, I don't know what it is. There's something that got on my nerves about it. You know the uh, the one where she goes, I've got a nice friend. It's an imaginary friend, but it's real. And she's hugging it and it's almost like it's real, yeah. And the idea is that it's a real monster. It's a real friend that helps her. Right. Yeah. And by the end of the advert, she locks it in a cupboard. She locks it in a cupboard. This is a real magical entity. She locks it in a cupboard, waits 20 years, gets a bit sad and goes, oh yeah, whoops, I left my friend in the cupboard and gets it out again. And you know what? He's all nice about it, but really, you could tell he's like, hey, you locked me in the cupboard for 20 years. Be kind to your monsters. Be kind to your monsters. And Be never, kind to your friends. And never underestimate them. Don't lock them in cupboards. Or you get upset. It's not, it could be the start of a horror movie, you know? Yes, it could be. She opens I up. I dare say it's been the start of a few horror movies. Yeah. Yeah. All you need to do is just watch Drop Dead Fred. If that's not a scary imaginary friend, I don't know what it is. Rick Mal, one of my favourite films of all time. Right, yes. So, Nick, we have digressed so much, but that's part of the fun. Carry on, what were you saying? Um, so yeah, so I've been into so uh, so I did so I did those so yeah I've got I've got to, I've got to try and beat that this year I've got to try and be visible in a few more few that's more adverts. That's it. That's it. Yes. Yes. So Indeed. yes, but uh, but yeah, I'm doing a uh, I'm doing a short film on Monday as well. Ooh. So What's that going to be? Can you that's say? That's going to be uh, it's going to be a short film called Gents. Gents. Can't say too much about it at the moment, but it will be out soon. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, that's going to be filmed quite locally. Oh, okay. So mm. yeah, so I've got that coming. So yeah, got that coming up. Hit me and, up if there's any spare parts, bro. Will do. And uh, yeah, so we've got so we've got a few more things coming up. Putting myself forward for stuff all the time. So yeah, we will see what happens. Yes, I indeed. Have, um, as we mentioned last week, I've got um, two films coming out on Amazon Prime. Oh yeah. I don't. We don't have an exact release date for Connie Lynn yet, but the trailer is online at the moment. Have you seen the picture? No, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, we, so yeah, we've got that, so that's coming out soon. And Johnny Two Shoes, the uh, oh, yeah. film that I have, that, uh, that I have a cameo role as a solicitor in, that is now coming out on the 1st of April. Oh, excellent, excellent. And to that lady you just walked past, thanks very much for your cameo. Indeed, yes. 
So what we talked about last year, and we talked about before as well, Nick, to round off today's episode, we're going to talk a bit about what you talked about with RG HP Fitness. Uh, big shout out to him, of course. Um, what are some of your tips for surviving January 2022? Well, first of, first of all, totally, totally screw this idea of a random Monday being the most depressing day of the year. Yes, Flip that can that go round, right off. That's it. Because that's the thing, there's no point. If you make something, I mean, this is definitely where I get into my high horsey weirdness and, you know, new age philosophy and stuff. And RGHP Fitness will be right behind us on this. If you go out of your way to make something negative, what will you get, Nick? Negativity! Negativity. If you say something's going to be negative... In abundance! If you say something's going to be negative, you're going to get negative. If you say something's going to be positive and push forward, you know what you're going to get? Results. Exactly. Hard body. You know, you can, you you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with allowing yourself to fit, to, you know, to feel on negative emotions. But if you're just going to, but if you're just going to be kind of like try and be, if you're just going to go out your way to just be miserable all the time and never look up at all, then you, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to enjoy yourself. Bar humbug. You know? I life, do not believe it, Nick. Life when the bloody short. hell do you think I'll do it? Life is short. To be, life is, life is short, but it's also long. That's it's it. also, you know, and it's a long time to be really unhappy. So give yourself, go give yourself goals, break them down into chunks. Look into, you know, look into, so do, look at what you can do right now to get towards it and yes. and beat that goal. And yeah, you know, and you know, it's like it's not done. The you know goals you want to achieve this year are not going to be beaten in like one giant step. It's going to no, be beaten not. in lots of little ones. That's so it. That's what you. That is what you need to do. That's it. Because there is definitely an element of if you just try to randomly do something straight away, you will flop, won't you? It has to be a gradual process. And I'm going to try to uh, be a vegan by the end of the year, but I'm not going to rush full forward into it because we talked about this, how it can affect your body and things like that. It's a gradual thing, isn't it? You can't just wake up one that's, day and go, I'm going to be vegan. That's the thing, you can't, and yeah, you know, because it, it, it is, you know, giving up a lot of things, replacing them with other with other things, taking on, that's it. you know, taking on a, like a whole new diet. And that's why I'm I'm not a big fan of the January and dry January and stuff like that, because it's giving yeah. up lots of stuff, because it's all done with good intentions. Well, but this it's is done it. With, but it's done with, um, that it's basically trying to give up too much at once. If, especially That's if it. you've just, had, especially if you've just had had uh, Christmas where you've been where you've been drinking lots of alcohol and eating lots of turkey, well, exactly. and then suddenly giving yes. it up goes, and then suddenly giving giving up. You know, of course things are going to go wrong. And not so, being funny, the average consumer that goes to the pub or would drink enough to have to do uh, dry January probably goes to the pub two, three times a week, yeah, and probably drinks at home. So the fact that you're all of a sudden going to go, nope, and stop, that is a big impact on your system. So like I said, if you're giving up alcohol or anything or trying to change your diet, it all needs to be done in um, short periods of time and sort of like gradually. And absolutely it? screw these extreme diets that you get. I mean, some some companies have like these diets of about three days where you only have about, where you have like less than a thousand calories and that's just an eating disorder waiting to happen. You know, it's so, so yeah, you know, you are not going to solve, you're not going to solve your body's issues in three days. So you don't want three yourself. eggs and some salt water for today's lunch then? That, <laughs> And lose and lose this never, <laughs> never the guns, bro. Yeah, the guns, bra. Yeah, they're I'm not as impressive there. as RGHBs, but um, yeah, no, you're getting there, aren't you, darling? Yes, so, I'm getting there too. Yes, believe it or not. So yes, RGHB is going to be on the channel at some point, isn't he? He is all being well. He'll be there. Yeah, and also um, he does feature in a special clip on uh, last week's on the bench, as you may have known, which we had him in the studio with you. We're filming indeed. these in a weird order, so it's going to take him a minute to click on. Yes, indeed. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so we'll be doing a lot more of that. We're going to be doing a gym workout together at some point. Hell yeah, bro. Given we have completely different different body types, that's going to be hilarious. That's hilarious, yeah. Um, but we'll try our best. We'll try our best. Softly, softly wins the race. But yes, so I hope you enjoyed that little bit of advice, that little bit of film news, and that little bit of Easter, Halloween, Christmas 
all Valentine's these events Day that are fun. absolutely ages away. Yay! And, yeah, try as I might, I just can't get excited about them right now. Boo! Hiss! Well, we have to get through January first. We'll get there. Remember, a positive mindset gets positive goals and positive results, Nick. Ain't that the truth? That's my bra. Right. We're going to have to set off now. Indeed we are. Thank you very a, much, everyone, for watching. A, thank you for spending this time with us. Don't forget to check out the other Badger Show videos and, su and subscribe. Yes, indeed. And, and don't hit forget, the notification bell so you don't miss a single one. And don't forget to check on the bench, hopefully every Friday on the channel with me and him. Bye. See you next time. Bye. Hello, Barmy Badger Army. We are here with, of course, the lovely... RGHB Fitness, and he is going to tell you a tip of the week. Take it away, hard body man. So the question is, how to eat healthy around Easter? Continue your normal diet and have one Easter egg. What's wrong uh, with that? If only work, one? Yeah, only one. Because if you work hard enough, you eat well, you can have an Easter egg wherever you want. But if you're not on your diet and you're not eating well, you're not going to be able to take the Easter egg in. Also, five to one litre extra around the Easter time because chocolate is very sweet and dries you out and you know you have to drink water don't drink a fizzy drink as well as having an Easter egg so I'm not saying not to have Easter eggs I'm saying if you're dieting well perfectly going through the normal motions drinking a little extra water and have the Easter egg one that you pick and if you pick that big one that has the um, stickers and two stickers underneath or the Mars or whatever you like to pick those two pieces can't be ate on the same day you can have that one Easter egg. Technically, if I was you, I'd have half that Easter egg. The next day, have the other half. Yeah, the next yeah, day, yeah. have the Snickers. The day oh, after that. Yes. So you spread it out. So don't have all one massive session of chocolate because that's just too, too much for your system. Okay? So it's all about moderation, my man. Moderation, time, and dieting. Thank you very much, sir. And hard we'll body, see you body. next time for next week's tip. Bye. Mr. Slender. Yes. Bring me a dream. Bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 that I've ever seen. Bom, 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 please, man. It's your magic dream. Mr. Slendy, bring me a dream. Bom, 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 bom.